Congratulations all around from Prime Minister Brown on the whose portfolio as Minister of Finance the responsibilities of the Antigua Port Authority fall. He beamed with pride as he was handed the trophy that was earned by the facility following a vigorous process and fierce competition from larger ports from Jamaica to Trinidad and Suriname. Prime Minister Brown credited the board for ensuring that the port operates at a higher level of efficiency and curbing some of the abuses that have plagued the facility prior to his government coming to office. And uh, clearly the board is performing very well. They've had to make some changes and we know that they, uh, some of the operators at the port who uh, became concerned about the changes, but they were concerned about initially the abuses that were taking place. The board has been able to curb those, those abuses and to ensure that there's an efficient collection of government's revenue. And I know too that all of the excesses that existed in the past that they were uh, literally eliminated, which created some level of unease for certain individuals. But, you know, we have to run the port in an efficient manner. Uh, this is clearly a meritocratic award, and it is based on the hard work of the various stakeholders. Board Chairman Senator Mary Claire Hurst and Port Manager Darwin Talamak returned with the award following the 19th Annual General Meeting of the Port Managers Association of the Caribbean in Nevis. What I can tell you is not done by that body. It's given out to um, two, two companies, two independent companies, I think it's Jamaica and Barbados. They look at the overall performance and then they, they make the decision. What I can tell you, though, is not based on the size of the board. And um, when our country gave the report at the last session, the last general meeting, which was in Nevis on the weekend, we got stand innovation which indicated right there that we had a chance of winning the award and it has eluded us for over 30 years. About what gave Antigua and Barbie to the edge? According to Telemac, are they impressed with not only being efficient but imaginative? Um, Barbados had an absolutely amazing report. I, I, I listened to Barbados report and I thought yeah we probably don't have a chance but when you talk about performance over a period of time it is, it is very, very amazing to understand how a port could actually uh, close a gap without raising fees, which is something that the, 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 the chairman, the executive secretary, and some of the other members were very, they were astonished by. We didn't raise fees. We simply managed the, the, the collections a little better. We closed the gaps in terms of how we build. We made that better. So our staff got more efficient in how they manage their business and that demonstrated significant benefits to the port. The award will act as a source of incentive and motivation for employees. But well beyond inspiration, the port is focused on major plans to enlarge its operations. It will require every bit of the quality service that the award recognizes if it is to achieve the successes that this expansion promises. Andy Lybird, reporting for ABS News.